Bryant and today we're going to talk about short term and long term memory. First, let us start with the concept of memory. Well, what is memory? Well, memory is the ability to receive information, store it and then remember it in the future. There are two types of memory, short term memory and long term memory. First, let us start off with short term memory. Short term memory is for temporary storing and managing information before it is transferred to long term memory and it has a limited capacity. Most of the information kept in short term memory is stored for approximately 20 to 30 seconds, but if not rehearsed, will be forgotten or fizzled out. Some information can last for a minute depending on its importance or the circumstances. Even though things can stay at a short period in the short term memory, to be able to retain a piece of information for a longer time, you have to hurt it again and again till it is stored in the long term memory. For example, I discovered that when I keep on rehearsing of what I've been learned in class, it comes easier to retrieve when needed. This is what you call memory consolidation. Long term memory is responsible for storing information that has been passed on through the short term memory. It has the ability to remember things that are over a minute ago, days, months, or even your entire lifetime, depending on the amount of rehearsals or on the individual. Firstly, long term memories actually have a conscious mind and can be called into working memory when needed. It is easier to recall because of the number of rehearsals. Secondly, accessing information frequently strengthens the neural networks in which information is encoded, leading to a better recollection of the information. For example, the number of times you assess memory often tend to stick around and become much more stronger. This is why repeating information over and over while studying leads to a better recall on an exam. Long term memory is divided into two types, declarative memory and non-declarative memory. Declarative memory, also known as explicit memory, is available in consciousness and is divided into episodic memory and semantic memory. Episodic memory has the capability to recollect biographical experiences and specific events, such as reminiscing about your best birthday or remembering your first day at school. Whilst semantic memory is all the facts and knowledge about the external world that we have acquired. For example, knowing how to use a phone or remembering what a cat is. Non-decorative memory are mostly unconscious memories. Procedure memory is a type of non-decorative memory, also known as implicit memory. Procedure memory is responsible for knowing how to do things and that memory comes automatically. Examples are riding a bike or driving a car. The key point to know here is through constant rehearsal, the content from short term memory can become long term memory. Now, there will be a demonstration on how short term memory and long term memory is put into practice through a short play. Brian started to prepare for the exam to be able to retain all the information he needs to remember in his long-term memory. Chidra is playing a game with her phone instead of studying. Brian continued revising his materials. Chidra is still playing games and procrastinating.
Chido began to prepare for her exam. She was cramming most of the materials and felt uneasy. Brian went through his materials one more time and had a good night's sleep the night before his exam. Brian remembered all the things he read because of the number of rehearsals. But Chiller felt tensed because she did not have enough practice and did not remember most of the questions. Thank you for listening. Please remember to subscribe, like and comment and hit that notification bell so that you're notified on our next video. See you later. Bye.